Mate, do you not think it's kind of curious that you've um, centralised your decentralisation on one, <sighs> uh, one platform? Yeah, huh? I know. I know, it's fucking ironic. It is, it's fucking ironic. What's up everybody, Bitman360 here. Now, I have been up to all kinds of mischief in the last few weeks. Basically, uh, some of you would have heard of my decentralized Me Too campaign, and like essentially what I'm trying to fucking do with that thing is see if it's possible to completely decentralize myself in the digital world. So basically, what I've done is I've gone looking around the place for like uh, alternatives like decentralized alternatives to the centralized channels that I'm using at the moment. So I'm gonna have to basically find, I was trying to find an Instagram alternative and a fucking Twitter alternative and a YouTube alternative, all right? And I came across, after much research, I came across something called BitTube. Uh, now it's called BitTubers. Now I remember seeing this in the past and thinking that's interesting, but I ended up using some other shit like, uh, I think it was called DLive and what have you. Anyway, I've come full circle and uh, I've basically, as uh, some of you, some of you cunts might already be aware, I've, I've started to basically exclusively publish my shit on bittubers.com. So, if you're seeing this on Instagram, then do yourself a favor and click the link in the bio to send yourself to bittubers.com and just fucking basically you're gonna need to go to there in the future. Maybe I'll post some sort of like, hey can't, I'm fucking over here, so I go over here kind of thing in the future on those channels just to keep them humming along for a while, but by the end of the year, I'm gonna basically stop using those and just fucking get fully embedded in, in uh, bittubers.com because basically I can do everything I fucking want. Okay, it's fucking, it, it rules, basically. I can post pictures like I do on Instagram. I can fucking tweet, and I can post videos. I could even like link videos from other places. And BitTubers promises to be completely censor, censorship re, uh, resistant. Now I'm yet to see if that's uh, accurate, but from the small conversations that I've been having with those guys over there, it seems like uh, it's possible to actually, uh, to basically uh, completely own my shit when I publish it there, so they can't really turn it off or take it down. But we'll see if that how how accurate that that is in the future. Now, BitTubers are a bunch of guys out of Tenerife. I think they're based in Tenerife. I haven't done my fucking homework that much, but there's something called Tubes on that platform, and uh, I'm not personally that interested in Tubes currently, mainly because they're worth peanuts. But people have been chucking them at me on there for the for the content that I've uh, been uploading from my YouTube, my previous uh, content generation machine that I had going over there. So I've been sort of cycling up and synchronizing my, my old content, which uh, is still valid. There's still valid information there, especially when it comes to the decentralized Me Too campaign. And anyway, in addition, I don't want to bore you any further, but again, by the end of the year, moving into 2020, I will be posting and publishing exclusively to BitTube. Mate, you are such a tool. Yeah, I know, it's fucking funny that I've centralized in one, but it's not that, it's the distribution mechanism in the, uh, in the way that it's uh, orchestrated on that platform. So I might use other channels in the future, but to be honest, maintaining so many fucking channels is a ball like anyway. Yeah, but it doesn't look good, mate. Don't forget the oh, right, decentralized yeah. church thing. My agent is reminding me. Also, in a, <clears throat> in the new year, I'll be launching the Church of Decentralization, and of which I will be the head member. And I've started a group on BitTubers.com, uh, which is a decentralized Me Too group. And essentially, I'm going to try to build a sort of uh, bunch of uh, followers, uh, loyal members of the Church of Decentralization. Now the details are still being worked out by me and my agent. He has some fucking really great ideas. Now it's up to the tech whether or not it can deliver. And of course if BitTubers fails me in the, in the coming months for, and doesn't do what I needed to do, then maybe I'll move on to something else. Who knows, we'll see. But listen, I appreciate you fucking tuning in this week, okay? And uh, to all those 
new followers of, on BitTube, BitTubers. I want to say thank you very much and please continue to be present. Tell your mates to come onto BitTubers. I think we're at like, was it 25k? Yeah. Yeah, in the Discord channel they were announcing they've hit 25,000 members. So if BitTubers actually gets momentum and gets to, to where it needs to be, then maybe, maybe I will in fact become crypto influential in this decentralized realm. And that's my ultimate goal. I thought when I started out on my escapade, I wanted to be a crypto influencer on the YouTubes and the Instagrams and what have you. And to some extent, I have had some success. Yes, the Scooter Coin project is on hold at the moment, but it's not like dead completely. We still have our guys in India developing the, uh, the blockchain architecture. Anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you next fucking week. Right off.